Bam. Good evening. My name is Kennedy Scales, and welcome to Everything Ken, the show. Welcome. I am so glad that every single one last of you guys decided to join with me today. Before we get started, let's head on into our weekly recap. First up for this week's recap, let's just not forget, Monday was, say what? MLK Day. Now let's just say, students were out of school and businesses were closed. Why? Well, we could have to celebrate the most amazing black person ever, okay? We had to celebrate this man. It was his day, he brought victory to this world, and although we're still going through some things, we will not be as far without God and him, because I tell you this right now. Today, we have more equality than we did back then. And hey, 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 hey. I know it may seem like it. I know the world may still seem a little ghetto. But listen, he did a lot of work, okay? He put a lot into this, okay? He put a lot into this. And we are in a certain position. I can go to school. I can go to school. I can go in the store. I can do certain things that black folks couldn't do back then. Let's just say the deed has been done, okay? People found different ways to celebrate this man. Even though we're in COVID-19 times, you know, people still found ways. You want to know how they found ways? I'll tell you right here. Take a look at this screen right here. They found ways to celebrate this man at MLK Day on Monday by watching historic I Have a Dream speeches, discovering things about Martin Luther King Jr. online with families, creating a craft that inspires important conversations between each other, and even taking a virtual tour of the National Civil Rights Museum in Memphis. Wow! Man, I'd love to go there. That place probably looks nice. And that is not the only thing this week that's been popping, y'all. The other thing that's been popping this week is that it's been snowing. Am I right? Am I wrong? Okay, so I don't know if y'all live in North Carolina. I don't know if you live in Virginia, Tennessee, or South Carolina. But I know here in North Carolina, in Winston-Salem, the 336 gang, it's been snowing, and it's been icy, and it's been slushy, and it's been weird. Because it keeps saying that it's going to snow more, but it's been raining, but then it be snowing again. Like, I was driving back to the house from the hair store today, and it was raining, and then it was snowing, and it was raining, and it was snowing. And it's still snowing on the ground now from two days ago. But they're calling for more snow as of tonight. Now, I don't know if it's already, it might, it might snow before tonight, it might snow yesterday. And if you're traveling on them roads, buckle up and pay attention because you won't be slipping and sliding down the street. Please be careful, stay warm, don't put them shovels up because you're gonna be shoveling some up. So just make sure that you just, please, I don't know why it's like that. I know up in Virginia, you know, I heard that it's supposed to be snowing tonight. So, and I go back to the V, I go back to the 757 on Monday. I go back to the VA on Monday. So we're gonna have to hope, pray that we get, I get there safely. Cause I, not I, not Kennedy Scale, will be flipping the sign down the road in the snow, okay? But with all that being said, just be safe. Now, for the topic, of the day now there's no topic today because it's my first video and it's the first premiere of my show so if you're here tonight thank you for watching the show let's go ahead and give a round of applause to people who took the time out their day to watch my show and hear me talk and you already know me you probably hear me talk already so the fact that you're coming out and hear 10 more minutes of me in my mouth <laughs> means a lot so yeah, topic of the day will usually be a time of my show where there will be things that will be popping up, you know? Like the fun stuff, the fun, the juiciness of my show will usually pop off during this time right here. So let me go ahead and tell you what you can expect during the topic of the day. So take a look at the screen right here. All right, you can expect interviews, cooking, demonstrations, comedy, sports, advice, and more. And as I move forward, there will be, you know, other things that will push through during this time. You know, other things you can expect. And it might be some other crazy things that I might find throughout my time doing this that I may throw on the show as well. So just be prepared because you never know what you're going to get. So just be ready, okay? Just, just, just be ready. Also, if anything else pops up over the week that you may experience that you want to bring on to here, don't hesitate to hit me up, baby. Let me know. We can talk about it. It's a talk show for a reason. We can talk about it. All right, let's get into it. If there's anything else extra as well, you know, that you may want to cover, you know, or you have any questions that I, about things that I may have talked about, 
just you know drop it in the comment section or hit me up on any of the social media platforms listed below on my screen okay thank you then lastly at the end of each show there will be all right there will be a happy ending i know y'all think the news be ghetto out here and they be thinking everything be negative everything be bad going on in the world but this show gonna be different we're gonna bring some happiness into this world now there may be some topics you may talk about on here maybe a little sad and depressing but we're gonna always make sure that we end on a great note so if you have a happy ending story that you want to bring to me like i said please hit me up on any social media platform on the bottom of the screen okay do not do not do not hesitate hit me up i will be here for you i'll hit you out all right we can talk about it you can even come on the show okay we can talk about it all right but just 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 know every show will be a great ending a happy ending and will be on a happy note all right now let me tell you this as well speaking of the happy ending guess what we're gonna go right on into it <laughs> now let me tell you this how would you feel if you received a free ipad a let me tell you this, A&T students can tell ya. Guess what they got? They got free iPads, okay, purr. All right, now, I go to Hampton, I'm a pirate, I ain't no Aggie, but I can applaud them on this. I can applaud them on this, because I love seeing, I love seeing HBCUs helping out their black folks, okay? I love seeing it. Every single A&T student got a free iPad. These students get to even keep these iPads once they graduate. As long as they graduate on time and keep good grades, they don't get no trouble. They can keep them iPads, okay? And I just love that they just helping them with this because a lot of people don't have the resources to, you know, they don't have the resources to, to get into their career. A lot of students, you know, they don't even have what they need to even do their homework sometimes. So I just love they're even providing them something, a piece of technology. People, it's 2022. Technology is everything today, all right? So, like, the fact that they're giving them a piece of technology to use to do their homework, to search things up, to study, is amazing to me. I think it's just beautiful. So, thank you, A&T, for providing, you know, more of your students, you know, these resources and these iPads so they can be successful in their career. It's a beautiful thing, all right? Because we're all trying to get somewhere. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching my show. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for just, just supporting me. You know what I'm saying? So don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications. So, hey, hear me out. Hear me out. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, comment down below or like I said, Hit me up on social media. I'll put social media down below in the description box. And I'll also put it here one more time on the bottom of my screen. All right. And if you already know me, you know how to hit me up. So just don't be scared to do that. I'm a good person. I'm a nice person. I ain't mean nothing. I might not text back right away, but I can get you between a couple hours and a day. I'll get you. I'll get you back. All right. I got you. I got you. Thank you so much once again for joining me today and all the support. I love all you guys and I cannot wait for you guys to see what I have for you next week. So please stay tuned. It'll be fun. It's going to be amazing. And um, once again, yeah. Um, if you're also, if you're a journalism major like I am and you have any personal questions about like, you know, what I'm doing or like how I do what I do now or just what it's like to be um, a journalism major, Hit me up as well. Um, I don't. I know maybe people who may be in high school, like seniors or juniors, maybe get going heading on to college and think about what they want to major in. Or if you are in college and you're thinking about switching majors or anything like that, or you just have general questions for me, do not be afraid to hit me up because I am also on the Great W H O V T V at Hampton University. So um, I am anchor, weather reporter, and I also write over there. So I have a good amount of experience that I've been involved, I've been doing it the whole entire first semester of my freshman year. So, you know, just go ahead and just hit me up if you have any questions about getting involved with that as well, or just wanna know how I handle that in school. Any questions you have, hit me up, all right? Once again, my name is Kennedy Scales, and thank you so much for watching Everything Can The Show. See you next week. Louis.